What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing you another video and for today's video we are going to be talking about Chucky Season 2. This is going to be a spoiler chat so we are going to be talking spoilers so that's your official spoiler warning. If you couldn't tell by the title of this so if you haven't seen this show, get out of here, go watch it then come back so we can talk about it. If you don't care about spoilers, then stick around because like I said we're going to be talking about all the dirty details of the show, what I did like about Season 2, my final thoughts and I've like right off the bat I am having a good time with the show but we'll get more into the details in this video so stay tuned let's do it roll it so Chucky season two was a wild ride I think what Don Mancini did is he just really took the gloves off and just let let loose and like really went for it because the season is packed jammed packed with some crazy ideas and wild stuff and this is kind of like I would say a spiritual sequel to Seed of Chucky and which is kind of interesting because I am still having fun with this show I must tell you right off the bat I'm not a huge fan of Seed of Chucky Curse of Chucky or Cult of Chucky I really haven't enjoyed a Chucky film since Bride of Chucky that was the last good Chucky film to me. So this is a franchise that has really fallen off the rails and being that the Chucky TV series is staying canon to all of those movies and continuing that story and adding in, you know, Glenn and Glenda and, you know, Tiffany and all them and Chucky and having all this stuff going on with the new cast, I'm still on board with this show and I'm having a blast. And like I said, in terms of season one, season two, I'm going to have to really go at it right off the bat right now. I would say I still kind of enjoy season one a little bit better. We'll get more into the details of why. But yeah, I could say season one, I think, is still better than this one. But season two, they do go for some wild ideas. One of my favorite things, though, about this show is that they brought Devin Sawa back. I was had a, like a shit-eating grin on my face when I saw Devin Sawa come back into this show and be another character. I hope, I really do hope they get picked up for season three because I would love to see Devin come back as another character, you know what I mean? That would be great. And to have him as the father of the Incarnate Lord, which is where Jake and, you know, Lexi and Devin end up after that horrible, crazy accident that is, that, well, they must, people think it's an accident, but what Chucky did to his, oh man, that, that episode with the bomb and stuff, and the whole Batman Robin thing, and like the way the kid was talking, and just how that all led into it, and I think from that episode, that, that one, right off the bat, you can kind of tell from that first one that Lexi's sister, there was something going on with her, and that was going to kind of build up and we might not be getting some information about it but it was going to lead into something that would happen later in the season and that does happen so for me this show it i just have fun with this show i'm having fun with what don mancini's doing with chucky and i know that this isn't a very serious version of chucky or a very scary version of chucky like i would say definitely season one and two definitely lean more into the comedy route but i like the chucky one-liners the puppetry work is still pretty good you know what i mean the kills are off the charts like for real some of the kills that chucky's gotten in this tv show are some of his most creative and i love that like there's some really interesting ones and i like our new characters like i'm having fun with jake devin and lexi and I am enjoying them, like I said, and especially in this new season when they add in Nadine, who was a great character as an addition to them. So when they go to the Incarnate Lord, I like the fact that they meet this new girl, you know, Lexi and her kind of, she's like staying at arm's length, you know, forget this girl. We got more other ideas and problems that we got to worry about. Lexi's thinking and all of that stuff. Plus, she's got her drug addiction going on, which we'll get into that, too. And But Nadine is such an awesome character in this show, for real. She was my favorite addition to season two, and that's the main reason why season two kind of competes with season one, is because Junior was actually my favorite character in season one. I know that might be hard to believe, and some people are like, what the fuck, are you crazy? But he was my favorite character in season one, and they killed him off. Season two, Nadine is my favorite character, and I think she's just hurt. What she added to the friend group was fabulous, because she added that belief that almost kind of childlike wonder to her, but she actually had more maturity and more understanding than the friend group. Like, you know what I mean? Than Jake, Devin, and Lexi. She actually had a better understanding of what was going on with their group 
than even them. And they've been friends, supposedly. So that's what I thought was fascinating, is Nadine was a character that was much more mature for her age and a character. And I love that aspect of her. But she still had that cool childlike wonder of, you know, when she saw Chucky and was interested in the Chucky doll, you know what I mean? And we had good Chucky going on. So there's some great, interesting ideas that Don Mancini really brought up with Nadine's character. And I think that all pays off. We're going to continue with Nadine because she was my favorite part of season two, is that the payoff all the way is when you're going through Lexi's arc and having a drug addiction like that. And I must confess, like, that arc was really important to me. And I really gravitated towards that because, like, man, Lexi's such a great character. And I think some people might have been tired of that thing, but I have a personal tie to that. You know, I had problems when I was younger, a lot of problems growing up and had a drug addiction. And that's what I mean, Lexi's character. I, I connect with that story and I feel and see that side. And to have Nadine's payoff when Lexi has that vision of her after she's taken so many pills and she's like on the cusp of like possibly gonna die, having a very bad kind of crazy trip. And then Nadine shows up as like a spirit and talks to her. And I think that scene was such a great scene, probably one of my favorite scenes in this entire season. Another really fun thing I'm having along with this show is the addition of all the different versions of Chucky. I know that's probably like a far-fetched idea, but we've already gotten into that, like where he can, you know, split his soul up and they brought that idea up in the first season and even the cult of Chucky and stuff like that. But I like the different versions. We get a bald Chucky, you know what I mean, in this season that has this kind of like gangster kind of flair to his talk and his accent, the way he talks, very Italian, wearing like a necklace of Chucky ears, kind of like Universal Soldiers, like, you know what I mean? Like, come on. There's a lot of callbacks to great movies too and great shows even you know halloween you know jason freddy all that kind of stuff there's callbacks even ghostface chucky has a good call sequence with jake in this show and even devin has a great call sequence that is kind of reminiscent of a ghostface call so i know don mancini's poking fun and doing this fourth wall breaking and a lot of stuff going on in the show but I'm having such a fun ride. And that's my most best thing about this is it's just entertaining. It's still entertaining for me. But I can understand why hardcore Chucky fans who are committed from Child's Play 1 and they binge this franchise and they watch the Child's Play films every month, why they might not be on board with the Chucky show is because Don Mancini has gone off the rails a bit in terms of the rules and regulations to how Chucky goes into other people's bodies about using the amulet that was brought up in Bride of Chucky. Uh, the seance words have changed. Like all, all the rules are different. Like they're not, like nothing. Like that's what I mean. So if you, it is canon to all those films, but if you were really to watch all the films in succession, just in a row, and then binge the show, just if you had all that time and you can stay up that long and just watch it all in a row, it, it probably wouldn't feel that cohesive. It probably wouldn't. It would feel like a lot of wild stuff has gone off the rails and it's like we've kind of lost ourselves. But like I said, you're talking to someone right here right now who doesn't like Seed that much, doesn't like Curse, and doesn't like Colt of Chucky. Like I've watched those films maybe a handful of times each. Not big on them. Like I said, Bride of Chucky is the last good Chucky film to me. One of my favorites is probably Child's Play 2. The sequel is probably my favorite to be honest. So I'm not, I'm a huge fan of Serious Chucky, as you can tell with like my filmography of what I like of the franchise, but I just love what Don Mancini has done with these new characters in this show. And like I said, just gone off the rails and I'm having an entertaining time and more fun with the Chucky character that I've had in a long time. Like I said, some of the best kills, great puppetry work, awesome new versions of Chucky and I like the new cast and my favorite member of the cast right now that's going on still because we did lose Nat Nadine. Sadly, we lost Nadine. I actually got really, really effing pissed in that episode when Nadine died and Chucky threw her off the top. I was like, my heart literally dropped out of my chest and I was like, what the fuck? Like, and she died. I was like, no, fuck no. I was like, no, this is not happening. But they did it, and usually that happens when a new character gets introduced or a show starts for the first time and I have a favorite character. They tend to get killed off eight times out of ten, I would say. So, but sorry, I lost my train of thought still because I'm still heartbroken over her death. 
But as I said, it's still a wild show and a wild ride. And that's what I'm loving is that Don Mancini is making Chucky entertaining again for me. And like I said, the kills off the charts. I like Andy, having Andy back and all that stuff. Like, great. One other mixed and negative thing I could have to say, or like this is probably just a straight up negative, I guess I would say about this season, why I would say season one is better still, is that season two just is jam packed with so much stuff. I feel like this season, you could have really split this into two seasons and had enough time, enough story. Like, I think we could have had more build up and more time with the kids at the Incarnate Lord. You, you know what I mean? That 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 place and just the build up of that atmosphere, what Chucky's doing. And like, you could even went that whole season and kind of let us know at the end of the show what Chucky's doing, you know, where Andy was. Like, I know some people might have been pissed, like, oh, my God, we had to wait epi eight episodes to find out what happened to Andy after he blew up in that freaking track. Like, no, no. You could have had a really nice buildup, having the kids there, Chucky doing this crazy stuff, having that backstory with Tiffany, you know what I mean? A little bit of that stuff. And, you know what I mean, kind of led into that. And Glenn and Glenda, I, I love them's addition. I love them. And their addition to this season. But like I said, I still think this season was just jam-packed. That was the problem. Don Mancini just tried to jam-pack too many ideas into one season. I really think you could have split this up and had another season of good content. And stretched out some things, you know what I mean? And it still would it would have been fine, you know what I mean? But I still really do have a fun time with this. Like I'm going to binge actually season one again. And then probably watch season two again, just so I can get my feel on them and stuff. It might go pick up, might start, you know, my ser since I'm collecting again, I might start picking up television shows. And I might start off with Chucky just to show people I do love this show. And I really do. Like, you know, it's not like in my top dog favorite horror TV shows of all time. But I'm having a freaking entertaining time. And I know there's a lot of other people out there that aren't feeling the same way as me. And like, that's... That's what happens. We're all different. That's the best thing about us. And we all have different opinions. And like I would love to hear from all of you in the comment section. Share your opinions on Chucky Season 2. What did you think of this season? And kind of the kind of cliffhanger where they left us off. Because, you know, especially with going into that whole introducing the therapist. And finding out that she has history with Charles. You know what I mean? And Chucky, that, that, that was wild. And then what Andy did to her after freaking Chucky switched bodies with her, that was crazy. Like, it just, it was jam-packed. Those, those last episodes are jam-packed. Then we go into a Christmas-themed episode that has some really good heart to it and stuff. And especially that moment with Lexi and her mother. So, just so much stuff going on in this season. Like I said, I have to watch them again, season one and season two right after each other i'm gonna binge them all probably in a weekend or a week and just get my full feelings on them and then we'll probably rank them and have more thoughts on it but yeah chucky season two like i said i was still having a fucking fun entertaining time you know some shocking moments great kills and the reveal at the end of season two was probably like i would describe it as almost almost like that daniel harris moment in halloween four like you know and donald pleasant sees her after she has the bloody knife and the mask on and stuff. Like, it just had that feel to Even though I knew Lexi's sister was up to some stuff. Man, that ending was kind of fabulous for me. You know what I mean? And then come to find out, like, the reveal of the doll. Like, when Chucky, like, reveals himself and stuff. So, it's kind of like, I feel Don Mancini did that ending almost to kind of shit on Halloween Kills a little bit. It had a, almost like a, that Judy Greer's death, like a Halloween Kills feel to it with that slashing and the dicing and stuff in the kill. Man. But then Chucky always ends the series, the seasons with that, you know, the nice Christmas song, lay, naming off all the kills and stuff. And especially having Liv Morgan in here, a WWE wrestler. Awesome that Liv Morgan guest starred in here. So... I don't take it that seriously. That's when I come to the Chucky franchise, I don't take it as serious or as real world grounded as I do say the Scream franchise or you know something else like that or even Halloween. I I view those as much more grounded. So when they try to do more fantastical things and wild things, it bothers me or when people do stupid character things it's like what what the fuck's going on or that shouldn't be going down like Ghostface would totally get annihilated in this moment. 
that stuff, it doesn't, I, I don't think about that and feel that way when I think of Chucky, this show, or the movies, because that's, to me, that's a fantastical world. It's kind of like Nightmare on Elm Street. Like, you kind of got to go for the ride, and you got to be willing to hold on or just let go and get off the ride, which is okay if you don't like it. Like I said, we're all different, and that's the best thing about us, so definitely let me know in the comments, and thank you for sticking around with me for this spoiler chat and this video on Chucky Season 2. Like I said, I'm having a blast with this show. I can't wait to start binging it again, and I'm probably going to start watching the, the movies too again. Maybe have a full-on Chucky month weekend type thing or review stuff. Maybe plan that. That would be pretty awesome. And most importantly, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.